Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit. As always, we first check the case. So as x goes to negative infinity, if we look inside the cube root, the largest term is negative 8x cubed. As x goes to negative infinity, x cubed goes to negative infinity, but then times negative 8 makes it go to positive infinity, and the cube root of positive infinity is also positive infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, on the denominator, the largest term is of course 6x, which also goes to negative infinity. So we have an indeterminate case, as we have a ratio of two larger and larger quantities, one positive, the other negative. As always, to try to resolve this case, we have to emphasize the dominant term on top and bottom by simply factoring it. Well, since we have a cube root, we'll first factor the dominant power of x from inside the cube root. The largest power of x, of course, inside the cube root is x cubed, so we factor it. And then what's left is negative 8 plus 2 over x squared plus 5 over x cubed divided by, and we do the same thing on the denominator, where now the largest power of x is 1, so we factor x, and are left with 6 minus 1 over x. We now have the cube root over a product of two terms, so in general, the cube root of AB can be broken up as the cube root of A times the cube root of B. So we can distribute here the cube root on our two terms. So the cube root of x cubed, and then the cube root of the second term, negative 8, plus 2 over x squared, plus 5 over x cubed over, no changes here, x times 6 minus 1 over x. And now, as x goes to negative infinity, x is negative, but since we have an odd power and the corresponding odd root, then here there is no need for an absolute value. x is negative, x cubed is negative, and the cube root of a negative is negative, therefore, the cube root of x cubed is simply x. And now this becomes x over x, so this will be good news as it will simplify and the case will be resolved. So on the numerator we have x times the cube root of the second term. Nothing changes for this term. We can now cancel the x over x, and as we're about to see, we will have an answer. So we have three fractions, 2 over x squared, 5 over x cubed, 1 over x, and as x goes to negative infinity, every single fraction is approaching 0. So what are we left with? Well, on the numerator, we are left with the cube root of negative 8, which is negative 2. And on the denominator, we're left with 6. So the answer is negative 2 over 6, which of course simplifies to negative 1 third. And that's it.